good day everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to plot a couple of graphs using numpy and matplotlib libraries in python in this video we are going to be using the jupyter lab to draw the curves so i begin by running my jupyter lab on terminal jupyter lab not found we run it again up and here it is here's my jupyter lab and i'm going to create a new new file on the this folder of a tech and here we begin so i'm going to try a couple of questions online maybe a quadratic question like this one here's the graph of this um may i will just copy this solve this equation right here knock down so we're gonna solve this equation so it's in the latex x squared minus x plus x minus 3 by drawing a graph in this range so to get started we have to import a series of libraries so we import a numpy np you can give it any name so i've chosen to give the np then we should import the matplotlib matplotlib mm, dot pi plot or some matplot uh, we could also import pandas but uh, i'm not gonna use pandas in this video or speedy and that's the first step so the second step is defining variables so you might ha have to define the x variable let's say x is equal to numpy dot in space it will generate values between negative 3 to 3 but not including 3 and now I, I want it to generate random values of about 100 random values just within this and I run it then and I have to say let y be equals to what this is why the equation x squared x squared plus x minus 3 and that is y so if we run y it's gonna give us values a lot of values 100 values in that range so go forward so we have to now uh, plot the graph so how do we go about plotting the graph um let's give let's call this graph figure one i say ax1 is equal to um, plot subplots Figure size of, of maybe six, four, mm, yeah, and DPI maybe one thirty six. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's gonna give us this. Oh, this looks quite large. Let's say six three. It's gonna give us something like this. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I'm gonna take this one off. I don't want the scaling. So, and let's say ax1 the plot. If we say ax1 the plot, it's gonna give us because ax1 was defined right up here as plot that subplot. 
this is x1 this this right here is x1 right now then we have to run the plot function for it to to plot the equations that this equation right up here so I say plot x and y and this is this is the plot of x and y in this range negative 3 to 3 you see I could also say so here mm, it gives us negative 3 to 2 oh, yeah right so how do we so we have to make this graph look a little bit uh, better we say x1 dot grid we say true if we don't want to grid we can just say false right here um, and there's no grid so but i want a grid is it true yeah it's got a grid maybe we need a legend or oh, now let's say we need levels x1 dot x level um now set x level and let's put it x And x1 but set y level let's put it y uh, object of set y level yeah there's a mistake right here yeah it gives us this and this and and we want to give it a title Next one that said the title. Mm, title. Mm, graph of let's say graph of graph of mm, graph of x squared. plus x x minus 3 so let's see what this gives us oh uh, yeah graph of s squared plus x minus 3 uh, yeah so if you want to save this figure like um make a picture of it we could just say um figure one figure one right up here figure one dot save fig and then we give it a name mm. quadratic graph on the png And it saves the picture. So this picture you can access it in your in your folder. This is it right here. This is a picture of it. So thank you very much for paying attention.